Something that I heard on the radio the other day has just really been turning my crank. I heard that in Chicago, Illinois, they're going to start teaching sex education to kindergartners. Yeah, your five and six year olds, you know, the ones who are picking their nose and unable to tie their shoes, button their pants, zip their coats, are going to be learning the real meanings for hoo-hahs and wahoos and pee-pees. Yeah, they're going to come home and look at you like, I know what you did. Get a point. Talk about it. I don't want my kids knowing how they got on this planet. I like to convince them that they came from an alien planet and were just dropped off. Or like I said last week, we just went to the hospital and the doctor gave you to us and we drove it on home and now we have you. Isn't it wonderful? Ta-da! It's magical! No, no, they're going to know the definitions of those. You know, rather than singing the ABCs, they're going to be singing the STDs. Yeah, your kid's going to know more about sex education, well, than you do. Maybe they can teach you a few things, you know, get take some notes. This is wrong. It is an education, people. It's morals. I, for one, do not want my little five-year-old out there, because pretty soon she's going to be wearing pasties and a thong, talking to the little boy in the banana hammock about what it is they're going to do later. Yeah, yeah. It's not education, people. It's morals. Teach your kids no. What happened to the days when we locked those people up? You got pregnant early? Yeah, you got sent away. Nobody wants to be sent to Aunt Myrtle's house. Aunt Myrtle's house, right? No, just somewhere where they could take care of the baby and then they had to give it away, which is tragic. Nobody wants that to happen. So that's how you prevent things. Fear. Fear is a magnificent tool. I used it just the other day with my kid. She was playing in the water hole at the playground, and I told her repeatedly to get out of the water hole. Yeah, the more you say it, the more they just jump. Huh? Splash, splash, what? So I yelled at her, get out of the water hole, or when we get home, I'm making you change on the deck in front of the neighbors. Yes, you're taking your clothes off in front of the neighbors. I hope they see you. That stopped it. She stopped. She got out of the water hole because embarrassment and fear are very, very, very good tools. Now, uh, the older that my kids get, I have found that the more I end up sitting on a bleacher bench. Yes, I have permanent indentations in my butt of the little rails on the bleachers, you know, the little grippers for those people who apparently wear stretch pants or something to them and sliding down. So they have to provide grippers on the seats so that you can stay in place. So the more that I am there, the more I find that the women there, the mothers there, there's some crazy mothers. I'm not that mother. I'm the one who's like, go have fun, honey. Good job on your back handspring. Woohoo! But there's other mothers there who are, you know, really convinced that their child who is 20 pounds overweight, picking her nose in line and picking her leotard out of her butt is a gold medal star winner. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's, she's just imagining her daughter to be Gabby Douglas. Now, these are the women you don't want to make eye contact with. I try to stay in my own little corner because there's some really intense ones. You don't make eye contact. I mean, I'm serious. They are like that little puppy who's waiting, waiting for the bone, you know, you know, when you're holding the bone up and they're like, oh, give me the bone, give me the bone. Only they're thinking, okay, look at me. She's going to look at me. Look at me, look at me. And you know that they're doing this. And you know that you can't look. So you're holding it and you try, you know, you're like holding your book. Or when I'm working on my book, I'm typing on the computer and you kind of like turn this way. But they're like that dog. Give it to me, give it to me, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. And they're just staring at you. And when someone stares at you like that, you just can't. You cannot control it. You make that mistake. You glance over. And they're like, oh, ho, ho. 
So, which one's yours? Mine's out there. She's that one right there. Did you see? Oh, look at that cartwheel that she almost did. Honey, keep your arms straight. Yeah, so which one's yours? Oh, no, she's the one. Yeah, look, she's doing the splits. Look at my girl. Look at her out there. Yeah, you know, we were on the internet the other day, and we were looking at some of the elite gymnasts. That's really amazing, and I was thinking that my daughter, she's just, uh, she's just so close to being one of those. And which one's yours? No, no. Come on, honey. Yeah, good job. They will talk your ear off about nothing, about their kid. You know, they pretend to be interested in possibly yours, but really they just want that opportunity to talk up their child. Their child, uh-huh, who's out there <laughs> in the too tight leotard, who's not listening to the teacher while saying, wow, you know, your, your daughter, she listens really well, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Do you know why she listens really well? Because I don't talk to her like that. Mm-hmm, yeah. Also, I smack her around at home and make her into a really good one so that when I set her loose on the, on the earth, she doesn't embarrass me. That's the whole point. I send my kids out into the world so that they don't embarrass me. That's what I want. Yeah. Now, these are the same people who actually told me they have three TVs in one room. Mm -hmm. That's their quality family time. One for each child and one for the parents. The children watch with the headphones. Uh-huh. This is our, our quality family time. Yep, so that she can monitor what her kids are watching while she's watching her program. <laughs> yeah. Bet those kids were in sex education early. Yep. Anyways, those are my hot buttons. Those are things that are going on in Krista's life. So... Check out the website for more, confessionsofacountrywriter.com, and you can find me all over the place. And if you are like me and do not want sex education in the school system, 